welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we talk about Z690, Z690 motherboards from Gigabyte. Yes, well, it seems that DDR5 is a bit um, scarce, uh, difficult, difficult to get a hold of, and a little bit expensive, and not optimized as much as the DDR4. So, I mean, you can order a motherboard that takes DDR4 and you'll have a computer that's going. You could order a motherboard with DDR5 and when are you going to get that, those modules? Well, that's a bit of a tough one. So, um, the cast latency of this DDR5 is about 40. Uh, Asus have been able to bring that down to about C32, but you have to get um, one of their ROG Strix boards in order to do it. To do it. It's in my uh, video um, previously, and I'll put it in the link in the description below if you're interested. And uh, so I'm gonna look at the UD Gigabyte. DDR4 motherboard and the Gaming X. Just compare the two, compare the rumor pricing, and um, at least you'll be informed and uh, they may have been in of interest to you um, because you're going to have to pay double or more for a motherboard. All right. They're uh, start off at 200 US dollars. Okay, so I think it's enough chit chat and let's get into it. Here is a bit of a surprise. We've got a nice little spreadsheet with some pricing on it. So here are some rumor prices. Um, 30th of October 2021. As we keep saying, release date is 4th of November. Alrighty. So, uh, most of these boards are ASUS, but there's a couple gigabytes there and an MSI or two. So, um, pricing is in New Zealand prices, which includes tax called GST, which is 15%, and US dollars, which excludes tax. Okay, so I'll, th I'll throw this up um, um, again. Here we've got the gigabyte. UD Ultra Durable. Yes. It's got a heat sink on it, which is a good start. Up, up in the upper left of the board. And uh, here is the Gigabyte Z690 Gaming X. And the rumor pricing is 230 there. And the UD board, the one before, Rumor pricing 200. Okay, so it is time that we get into um, this. We have got the Gaming X on the left and the UD on the right. And um, just a quick glance. Things look pretty similar, um, and it looks like the Gaming X uh, may have uh, better sound, but both of them look good. That's fine. Next, we've got uh, comparisons of the PCI. Express and they are very similar. And now M.2s. Um, what I do see is that the Gaming X has four Gen 4 M.2s. And the UD 
has three Gen 4s. M.2s slots and uh, both have six SATA connectors. So, better sound and um, an extra M.2 Gen 4 slot. Well, is it worth that extra $30? Also, there is a bit more of a heat sink on the Gaming X, so it's possible it might run a bit cooler. Is it worth waiting for the reviews? Well, I'll leave that up to you. But those are the main differences that I've seen and uh, a difference of $30. Here we've got the IO Connections. And they look very, very similar. And we have the back panel. Okay, so they do have a flash bio system. Um, you don't push a button, but they have a system where you don't have to have the C CPU or the RAM um, in the board in order to change the BIOS. Ending in three, two. Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. <laughs> Ending in three, two. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video. Hey, no, no.